Alright, welcome back to 7 Days to Die. The last thing we need to do in this series is test the build against uh, some high level POIs. My house here is pretty much done, 99%. And where can I store water? Uh, you know what, this is like vaguely a sink, let's put that there. Anyway, we've done all the progression, we've done all the building that I want to do. We need to do the Day 42 Horde at the end of the episode, but we've got two hours to kill in the meantime, and I still haven't done a Tier 6 infestation. I need some first aid bandages, because those usually involve me getting hit a lot, hang on. And it's mostly just because I've been very distracted trying to get the gyrocopter. So we'll go and ask Jen what tier 6s she has and see how many of them I can get done. Probably only one or two, because they are tier 5s with even more zombies in them. Hey Jen. Um, the closest one makes sense. Oh, Red Mesa. Oh, here we go. With no explosives either? Oh my god. Do you have any explosives, Jen? Rocket frags are technically explosives, but they're not really what I'm looking for. <laughs> Although, I did buy a rocket launcher, didn't I? Uh, I could buy one of those. Hang on. I forgot I had that rocket launcher. Hey, one explosive is better than none. This rocket launcher will probably allow me to just remove one of the rooms from the game. I've got some dynamite and Molotov cocktails, but they're not the best for its difficulty in this kind of quest. Oh, money. There we go. Let's go buy that one rocket frag from Jen and then take on the red mesa compound. Thank you, Jen. I could get HE, but they're way worse against people and are much more likely to destroy the terrain. But then again, I don't care that much, and explosives are fun. Well, I bought that at a very good time there. Let's drink one of those. Right, let's head over there. If I'm lucky, I'll get like a tier 6 Desert Vulture, or a tier 6 SMG, or maybe a tier 6 Rocket Launcher. Those are really the only few things left that I could really get any kind of an upgrade from. Well, just fuck this thing, I guess. It's going to be very weak as I fly over there, but that's fine. Here we are, start that, deal with him, and let's just piss off everybody immediately and get this started, shall we? Hello. Oh, they're actually not that pissed off at me. Ooh, run away. Here we go, first area cleared. Now what I'm going to do is skip to the end as I usually do on these kinds of POIs because uh, they're messy. And I'd rather fight them out here than fight them in there. There we go. Then I'm going to break in here and I'm going to get to the end loot as soon as possible because that just gives me more ammo to beat the actual POI with. But they have changed this one to have some zombies actually in the area as well. Like in there, plus more in here. That's so many. Holy shit. I'm not even sure how he did that. Excuse me. A bunch of them fell down here. The final room in this place is a tier 6, it's crazy. Right, and then let's open this. That was a screamer, shit, that was poorly timed. I think I got away without pissing off those ones. Right, let's deal with the people she just called in. I'm actually only seeing one, but I'm sure there is more. 
That works. Anyone else? Okay, blue loot bag on a main. Take that. Yeah, I'm guessing you were called in by the screamer. Hey then, let's continue on. Oh, another blue loot bag. Ah, slightly better boots. We now have full level 6 armor, giving me a grand total of 84% damage resistance. Hello. We got skill point there. That's going into parkour. Then we get the end loot immediately, which I can use to defeat the rest of the POI. So let's see what we get. A level 6 desert vulture, great. Wasn't really expecting better loot than what I could get from quests yet, but good to see it's here. Uh, security camera bundle and blade trap bundle are kind of shit, but I'll take them anyway. Drone, help me out here. We also get a munitions box with munitions in it. Open up this crate. Some bullet crafting stuff. More ammo. Some more ammo. Let's unlock the gun safe and the actual end loot and see what we get here. And guns and a rocket part. And let's check the end loot. Um, shotgun turret bundles. So there's an extra 300 shotgun ammo if I need it. Furious fists, some ammo and money. With that out of the way, I'm now fully equipped to clear out the rest of the POI. That is a lot of them. Ow. Hey, you didn't even animate that hit. Asshole. It's so much damage. Passing gas container here with nothing. Freaking vending machine. I don't really want any of that though. Next room, any good armor? Well, I can't really have an armor upgrade now, can I? A little bit of coffee there. Hello. 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 That's a lot of you. What's the highest damage per shot weapon I have? It says the sniper rifle, but I know I have like four points in pistols, so it probably is the pistol. So let's, uh... <laughs> Ah, they're all stunned. <laughs> Alright, let's just immediately deal with the fuckery that happens here. That's so fucked. Down we go. Hi. This area is really annoying, so let's just do this. Here they come. Hey, that wasn't too bad. Wake someone up behind me somehow? Hi. Well, at least they're gonna break away through for me. And books. I don't know if I need anything. And guns. Explosives and wiring. Hello. crate with handgun magazine. Hello there. Anyone in here? Yep, definitely. I'm really annoyed how often they get hits without swinging. 
If I have them so staggered they can't move their hands, they shouldn't be able to damage me. This is the reality you have created, fun pimps, where zombies don't bite, they swing. So if they can't swing, how are they swinging? I just want some consistency, drone. Don't you agree? Actually, asking the drone for consistency, that is an absolutely terrible idea. One of the most inconsistent items in the game. Hello. Loot bag, nothing important. Turn off the fire. Summon more fiery guys. I didn't even know what was happening. He even just hit me. Oh, did he hit me when he was down? That's annoying. What is going on in there? Unspeakable things, it looks like. Don't like going in here because you can't fire your guns underwater. Didn't have to fire my guns underwater. How the fuck can a zombie swim anyway? That's weird. Next room. Food. Eh, yeah, nothing actually that helpful. At least a food magazine. Now did I... Oh, hello. I've pissed off a great deal of zombies now. I'll take my chances on this side, actually. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> Some more of them come in. I have an idea. A cunning plan. No, not that one. That's a death sentence. This, I can't see any way this goes wrong. Yeah, that's just 15k XP from one shot, lol. Welcome to Red Mesa. I don't need to use that. Thought there was a lot more survivors than there actually was. Well, you certainly can't say I didn't make that one explosive count. One of my least favourite things about this POI is when you come in here and go around, it spawns zombies here. Like, you are looking at this area, you and I, we are standing here, we can see there are zombies on that side, there are no zombies here, but as we go around we are going to encounter more zombies in the room we were just in. Which I just find to be lazy, if nothing else. Bloody windows. Okay. Observe the room we were just in. Right there. We were standing there. Now there's a million zombies just in that room. Yeah, and we're done. Only took like half the day as well. Nice. Let's get out here and see what reward I get. Really, the only thing I really want now is like a level 6 SMG or maybe a level 6 sledgehammer, pickaxe, or rocket launcher, but it's not exactly important. This is just about sending a message. Hey, Jen. Um, is this a better sniper rifle? No, it's not even a better sniper rifle. Take a level 6 nail gun then. <laughs> Any good ones? Let's see. Navskin County Jail? Mm hmm. I will wait and see what she has tomorrow. We're not going to get one done today anyway. Or in fact, I'll take it today and start it early in the morning tomorrow. Because i got to be 100% sure we finish it before the Horde. That would be smart. So I'm just going to go do some stuff back at my base for the rest of the day. And tomorrow we will take on the County Jail and the Horde. Alright, here we are over at the... What is this again? Navisgain County Jail. Let me kill this guy. Oh, this is the one where they spawn behind you on the roof, isn't it? Oh, this is going to be a mess. Let's get in there. Oh, should I try and get the end loop? I don't know if you can do it quite so easily on the county jail, though. Let's see. Hang on, hang on. I forget which one this is, precisely, because there's a prison, and then there's a jail, and they're very similar, and they're both this kind of tier. Let me just jump up here. Okay, is this the one where you fall in and do unspeakable things? 
kill all these vultures real quick. Yeah, as yeah, there's no no quick and easy way to get that end looped. <laughs> Forge head. Still, it's not impossible. It's just a bit, you know, unfortunate. There's another forge ahead, and there might even be one in this do collector. Ah, there we go. My best bet for this one is probably just going to be to do it normally, then. I mean, you can skip to the end over here at this, like, basketball court, but you have to fight a lot of things. Is there anyone else up here, first of all? Yeah, there is. Right. Then there's this area down here. Ah, but this won't spawn properly until you press a button inside. Well, if you're gonna make your POIs like that, devs, then I'm gonna play them like that. Let's just skip right here. Just cleaning out this roof so I don't end up with anything terrible behind me. Go. Who's still alive? Okay. The roof isn't completely clear. Go in here. Probably spawn more of them. Right, there we go. Now I should be able to just come down here and fight the end the way I want to. Someone's alive in here. Hello. Um, yeah, so let's... Oh, where's my pickaxe? Oh, that's going to be annoying. Right, we'll have to rely on my axe for this then. Just help them with that. Close that behind me. I'm sure they'll make a hole soon enough. I can start shooting through. There we go. Oh, they're coming from the end loot as well. Okay. Oh, let's get up this ladder. Where the fuck did you two come from? Oh yeah, it does spawn more of them just directly behind you, I forgot. There's some loot here. Some magnum ammo, okay. Okay, let's try and get these guys before they come through. Someone's, like, behind me. Where are they? Oh, they're inside. I think I hear a screamer. It might just be one of the zombies, but I'd like to check. I think I'm just hearing things. Oh, hello. Do you just spawn in here? Weird. No oh, way, I do hear a screamer. Where is she? There we go. Anyway... So I don't have my pickaxe, which is really annoying for, like, this room here. Can I, like, piss off people in this room at all? No, nah, this, I'm just gonna have to, gonna have to steel axe my way through this. <laughs> oh, wait, sledgehammer's probably smarter. Yeah, that's 200 damage per light attack. That is just gonna be better. I don't have any points in sledgehammers anymore, though, so I'm using a lot of stamina to do this. Hey, then, there we go. Yep, that woke them all up. Let's get them stuck on this door. That door didn't last very long. Nope. Oh. Mm, reload time. these cops come from. Quick first aid bandage.
I would really like this one guy to stop bloody attacking me. And loot is now clear. Two handgun magazines, some meds here. Oh, lots of meds, and I'm finally done with medical journal. Let me go kill a bunch of screamers. There are fucking three of you. What? I think that first one got a scream off, so I'm gonna wait here for a minute. Alright, let's go get the loot. Alright, so here's what we got from the main loot. Handgun magazine, a few other books there. Another security camera bundle. Ooh. Decent bit of ammo, though. And then... The rest of the end loot is where the real fun is, though. The infested cache. Hood bundle. Bunch of shepherd's pies. Another level 6 steel axe. Handgun magazine. Dart trap bundle. Boo. Bunch of ammo. I need to put some things in the drone. And then more of these. Right, and we've also got some more ammo there. Another handgun magazine thingy there. Some meds. Okay, so the loot is actually kind of shit in here. It's fine though. I don't really need anything. I'm definitely not going to break even on certain kinds of ammo though, but let's go back around to the start. And now just finish off the beginning and middle of the BOI with the ammo from the end of it. Okay, and then here we want to just run inside and then run back outside pretty much immediately. Why is it not working? Why is, why is the spawn broken? Did they change it? Did they finally hear me screaming about it? Okay, so what's supposed to happen is you come in like here and then zombies on the roof spawn in. But something I have done. Hello. Something I have done at some stage has turned that system off, and I would be very interested to find out precisely what I did to do that, or if they just changed the POI after people complained about it, which would also be nice. Maybe doing something on the roof first disables the spawns here? I don't know. I've never noticed that before, it usually works, maybe it's just bugged. Hopefully it doesn't stop me from finishing the POI though. Or maybe I somehow accidentally already fought them, like over there. When I was fighting all these guys, maybe the guys on the roof came over. That would kind of make sense. Further testing required, I suppose. Jeez. I know they're the hardest enemy in the game, but seriously, a full mag? There we go. More books. I don't really need books, but I like collecting books. Which is annoying, because I hate the system. If there were a shitload of books to just randomly collect for no apparent reason, I would be into that. Don't love that my progression is tied to it though. <laughs> Level 6 SWAT helmet, worse than mine. Level 6 too. And the magazine. There's a shitload of non-marked zombies coming my way. Where are they? Was that like a wandering horde? What was that? Hmm, weird. Oh, hello.
I woke up these zombies, I think. Where the hell did you come from? You're not even marked. Oh, there's more behind me. Okay. Oh, you son of a bitch. That was the last guy. Great. Let's leave. Let's see what Jen gives us for that, and then it'll probably be time to get ready for the horde. My audio is cutting out very badly. Uh, I just don't really need any of these, but is this better? No, it's exactly the same. Let's take the Shamway secret recipe. Why is this even in the loot table for a tier 6 infested clear? But whatever. Alright, let's go back to the base and get ready for the horde. Make sure I've got all my ammo and stuff. Alright, here we are on a random rooftop. Our house is over there, just barely visible. Uh, I don't intend for this to survive, because I'm pretty sure there is a ladder into the attic here, and there's a hole here, so, like, they'll figure out a way. Uh, but just to start off, I'll start up on the roof here. I've got no explosives, so I've brought all the ammo I physically could. I suspect this horde is going to be quite easy, even though I'm using heavy armor. I've got custom fittings, the heavy armor perk. I'll be able to move relatively quickly. And I've got the automatic weapons. Completion bonus where you get 20% faster run speed for 20 seconds when you get a kill with a LMG. And I've got machine gunner which gives you the commando adrenaline which means each shot I hit will also give me 4 stamina. So it makes doing hordes without bases very easy assuming you've got the ammo to sustain that which yeah I do. <laughs> uh, let's see game stage 238 4700 kills. Level 69. Uh, yeah, I could probably get 5,000 kills today. Alright, here comes the horde. I'm gonna save my M60 ammo for when I'm actually on the ground. Because that is all the 762 I own. <laughs> Can I, like, smash this open? Oh, it's metal. It's weird. Mm, I hear vulture. Where are they hiding? Ooh. There's two actually. Ow. Hiding in the trees. Or was that a cop? It might have been a cop. Oh no, there they are. Right. I got a helmet light. I do. Good. Because I can barely see. <laughs> Who the hell's hitting me? Someone's in the roof. I have got one HE rocket here. Probably be unwise to just... Oh, you know what, fuck it. Oh, I didn't like that. Okay, who the fuck is hitting me? How did you get up here? Oh, wonderful infection. I 
Let me just quickly deal with that abrasion. Uh, I guess they jumped up. Uh, I think they broke the thing they used to jump up, so I guess they're just stuck down there now. completely removed that wall. What the hell is going on down there? Alright, I'm bored up here. Let's head down. Oh wow, he's done wonderful things to the house. Ow. Just a random radiated lumberjack to start the day. Oh yeah, I need to use my Mega Crush and stuff. Mega Crush. That'll help with the mobility penalties. And let's use some beer as well. That lasts one minute. Oh, it still blurs my vision. I thought I had the thing. That's annoying. Okay, well, I'll have blurred vision for a bit. <laughs> I guess I can run this off so you guys don't have to watch it for too long. Oh, I didn't get as many as I wanted. All right, now that we can see again, let's fight them. Oh, the frame rate is struggling today. Are we near something too big? Ah, yeah, there's a town over there. Let's head over in this direction. Oh, we're abrazed again. You gotta love that. I'll use another first aid kit in a second. Love how the audio cut out no less than six times when trying to use that first aid kit. This game is falling apart. No other game I play has any of these issues, by the way. That's why I know it's the game. <laughs> if every game was like this, I'd be like, damn, I need to upgrade my PC. But no, it's seven days to die. I don't need to repair this. Oh, we're in. It also doesn't help Seven Days to Die's case that I have upgraded my PC and that has not made the game any better. I think there really is just a cap to the performance you can get or at least diminishing returns. And I am not upgrading my PC just for this game. Especially when it's not even done yet and they're gonna make it run even worse. Because if they make it run better, then I don't need to upgrade my PC. But if I upgrade my PC and they make it run worse, then I have to upgrade my PC again. Might as well wait until the game's done. Instead of wasting potentially thousands of dollars buying the absolute, you know, latest graphics cards, not that it would help, and buying the most powerful processors, not that it would help, because the game can't even use a processor properly. I suppose I could upgrade to, like, 64 gigabytes of RAM. I feel like that would maybe get me an extra 10 FPS, if I'm lucky. Where's that dog? Oh, hey.
level 70. Seriously? Another abrasion? I suppose I should be lucky that it's just abrasions, because that's all I really have the ability to cure right now. If I got a broken leg, that would be really annoying. Oh. My frame rate is back to 60. I wonder what happened. And there it goes again. Yeah, I think we can see definitely why it came back down again. I'm just going to stop curing the fucking abrasion. It's just eating my first aid kits. <laughs> yeah, we're almost done for tonight. For some reason, I thought I was going to go until 6, but I realised that's not this series. Well, it'll probably take until 6 for me to clean out the rest of them. Thank you for running in a big line, everybody. That's very helpful for me, actually. Well, I can't even see who I'm shooting now. Oh, there's water here. Well, there we go. Morning time. Let's clean up the rest of them. Screamer. Stop being annoying. Ah, oh, screamer, go away. Hope that didn't count as a real scream. Right, let's see if there's any other stragglers lying around. Stuff. Bunch of loot. I'm not gonna be able to carry all this shit. I think we killed them all. Or there was definitely still zombies here, but I think they despawned already. Oh well. I'll live without sating that bloodlust for now. How many kills did I end up with? Ah, that's annoying. Still need another like 100 kills to get 5,000. That's fine, we're close enough. Got to level 70, game stage 241. Got damn near everything you could possibly get in a 7 days to die series. What am I missing? A level 6 SMG, level 6 rocket launcher, level 6 sledgehammer. I suppose I didn't get a uh, truck, but why the hell would you get a truck when you're in a snow series? That's a terrible idea. Let me head back to the base real quick. Oh, we got a drone as well. And here we are back at base. So we got this base upgraded quite nicely, I'd say. The farm's doing pretty well. We're definitely mostly self-sufficient. The only thing we would need the traders for is gas, because the snow world doesn't have any gas. Or it doesn't have any oil shale that you could mine. But I suppose, technically speaking, you could never be self-sufficient on that, because theoretically, any map could eventually run out of oil shale. That would take probably tens of thousands of years, though. <laughs> So yeah, we, we did everything we wanted to set out to do in the series. Watchtower, barn with a bunch of storage, cool house with some rooms, food, water, traders next door at least for the gas for the generator, turrets, I can mine. We did it. Self-sufficiency, snow biome, we conquered everything I wanted to do. Uh, in the next series, we'll be doing a wasteland series to see if I can survive that. I don't know what I'm going to do after that. Hopefully Alpha 22 will come out and put me out of my misery of making these CDs over and over again. Uh, but before we go on to the next series, I'm going to be doing some Subnautica videos. Just a couple as part of the start of the Subnautica series so that I can get a breather from this game. Thanks for the update there, Joel. Speaking of updates and guys called Joel, uh, Helldivers 2 just got an update, so I'm going to go play that now. Let me know if you enjoyed this series, let me know if you're excited for the next one, let me know if you're going to be watching the Subnautica series. If you are looking for a 7 days to die server, you can get one for 10% off in the link in the description and the comments, or using my code is prebuilt. I will get a commission if you do that, thanks in advance if you do. This has been a series that has not been called Permafrost, because the name Permafrost is cursed, and every time I tried to do a series called Permafrost, the series ended prematurely, but here we are at the very end of episode 20, and absolutely nothing has happened to stop the series, so I'm confident we can call this series Permafrost.